sometimes life happens and you need a box cake mix. Now box cakes taste, well, like box cakes. Nice, but not necessarily homemade. But not to worry because today we are going to be going through six hacks that will make your box cake taste better than even a bakery one. Let's do this. So let's get straight into hack one. Replace water with milk or buttermilk. Because dairy has a higher fat percentage than water, it's going to make your cake more rich and moist. Hack two, add an extra egg. By adding an extra egg, it's going to add a richer flavor to your cake, and because it's an emulsifier, it means that you can add more liquid to the cake without, you know, resulting in a gooey mess. Which leads us into hack three. Add extra melted butter or oil. So usually a box cake mix will ask for either butter or oil. If it says to add butter, then add an extra quarter cup of oil, or if it says to add oil, then add an extra quarter cup of melted butter. If the box cake mix doesn't say to add either of these, then add in an extra quarter cup of either option. This is going to add extra moistness and flavor to your cake. Hack four, add extra richness to your cake. So to do this, you can add an extra quarter cup of yogurt, sour cream, cream cheese, or mayonnaise. Their high fat content as well as acidity helps to break down gluten in your cake, giving you a more tender and soft crumb. Hack five, add in a small packet of instant pudding mix. Now adding an instant pudding mix is going to add extra flavor and softness to your cake. And you wanna make sure that you're using the right kind of flavor combo. So for example, if you're making a vanilla a box mix then you want to add a complementary flavor to that so let's say a vanilla pudding mix. Hack 6 add extra flavoring so you can add extra vanilla extract or essence some instant coffee powder spices like cinnamon or nutmeg lemon rind orange juice whatever you want really just make sure that the flavors complement each other now the first three hacks which are replacing water with milk or buttermilk adding an extra egg and adding an extra melted butter or oil are hacks i will almost always use together when making a cake mix and then the final three hacks i kind of pick and choose and improvise based on what i have at home so to demonstrate we are going to amp up a cake mix right now. So today I'm using this Edmunds vanilla cake mix and the instructions say to add in one egg and one cup of water. So first up I'm going to preheat my oven to 140 degrees celsius as stated on the package. Next I'm greasing an 8 inch cake tin with some homemade cake release. This stuff is amazing, I will post a link on how to make it below. So to start off I'm placing the cake mix into a bowl, then I'm going to add in two eggs, so one extra egg compared to what it says on the package. Next I'm adding in one cup of milk to replace the one cup of water and then I'm adding in my extra ingredients. So to start off I'm adding in a quarter cup of melted butter and then I have three quarters of a packet of instant vanilla pudding so I put that in to add extra richness and flavor. I also had sour cream at home but because I used the instant pudding I didn't add that in. Now I also added a tiny bit of vanilla but if you're using a pudding mix you don't really need to add that extra flavor. I don't really know why I put it in but I guess a bit of extra vanilla won't hurt. And now I'm just mixing on a low speed to combine everything and then turning up the speed and mixing for a further three minutes as stated on the package. Once that's all done, I'm pouring the batter into my prepared cake tin and giving it a little bang to settle the batter. Now for comparison's sake, I also prepared a version of the cake that followed the cake box exactly so we can compare the taste and texture. My version is more yellow in color because of the pudding mix that I added in. Now here are the two baked cakes. So this one is the original version and this one is my version. So my version is a bit higher than the original version, which makes sense because we added more ingredients to it. And now I'm going to cut through both of these cakes. So let's start with the crumb. So both of these cakes have beautiful crumbs on them. They're both quite soft and spongy as well. Although I will say that the one that we added the extra ingredients to does just have that extra softness to it when you touch it. Now let's do a little taste test. So I'm going to start off with the original version first. Hmm, it's good. It does have some of those kind of artificial flavorings coming through, but you know, that's what you're gonna get if you used a box cake mix. But yeah, it still tastes really good. And now to try the amped up version. 
Mm, that is really good. <laughs> it's got a beautiful, beautiful texture to it. It's super nice and soft, although this one was nice and soft too, but this one just has that kind of, you know, extra oomph to it. Flavor-wise, it's also a lot richer and kind of deeper because of those additional ingredients that we added to it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next time you get a cake box mix, you know exactly what to do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.